So what's next for Cardano? You know, we've been talking so much about price, price, price. Yes, I get it. It's moving. It's exciting. It's fun to talk about. But the the clear direction of Cardano remains the same. We need growth, adoption, and development. We need to take big steps forward there. Now, there is something that is coming to Cardano that is going to help facilitate this further and help with interoperability and development with EVM compatible products. Now, this is Plutus V3. Okay, There's some things that people need to know about it, and it may allow us to take bigger steps forward. Now, what's interesting is I had somebody who was making a comment about, oh, yeah, you know, Cardano isn't EVM compatible, so it's not going to work and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it, it can. Okay, we've already been able to be able to build EVM compatible side chains. And now Plutus V3 is only going to make this even easier. So what it's going to be able to do is it's actually improving Plutus's core cryptographic capabilities. It's going to allow Cardano to meet the most recent industry standards. If you guys remember last year, Valentine's Day, we had the upgrade that allowed us to add SECP elliptic curves. This is what you see in both Ethereum and Bitcoin and several other chains. So we are now able to more easily integrate and develop with EVM compatible products. This is going to allow us to actually bring essentially EVM over to Cardano sidechains, okay, EVM compatible sidechains. Now, why this is important is it's bringing EVM to the Cardano ecosystem, and that's a big deal, right? Many people have talked about, oh, yeah, this, the big thing that uh, is really preventing people from coming to Cardano is the difficulty to build, the lack of, of communication or interoperability between that and EVM chains, and that's simply not the case anymore. It's it's never been easier, okay, and that may sound like a sales thing. It's never been easier, but it, it really truly hasn't been easier. Remember, we're also going to have this ability with, with sub, several of the Cardano wallets too, okay? Don't think I didn't forget about that. So what, what is also happening too is aside from the cryptographic primitives, Plutus V3 has planned to improve performance by adding a sum of products feature to enable direct encoding of various data types. In addition, V3 would improve an updated script context that allows users to view CIP 1694 governance related entities. Plutus V3 would also add Plutus primitives, which provides more tools for developers and expanded possibilities for writing smart contracts. So it's all about improving ease of use, improving the ease of, of governance and con contributing to community uh, growth and development and things like that. So there's a lot of things that are taking place in what seemingly looks like a small update. It's a small one, but it's a big one. All right. It's the reason why our roadmap has looked so small, right? There was four things on there. And this is one of those four things. Okay. So not only does it make things again, cheaper, easier to build more interoperable than things we've talked about time and time again, but it helps bring us to that new era of Cardano along with the chain hard fork. This is supposed to come in around the same time as, uh, as that. So I appreciate you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.